I decided to have some fun with this session while training hard as well. Uh, I wanted to work up to a heavy single for squat today. I haven't really went heavy on squats in a minute, honestly. Uh, so just wanted to see where I'm at he here and there, uh, especially the fact that I'm losing weight lately. I just really want to make sure I'm maintaining as much strength as possible. That really can help uh, maintain as much possible uh, muscle as well. So i uh, going to put a little bit more emphasis on strength here and there, but I always have. So it's not really something I think too much about. Um, but my, my conditioning for squat is not very good lately. The last time I squatted was my last squat video. I think that was eight days ago. So one squat session a week is just not good enough for me to uh, improve my squat, you know. Uh, one squat session a week is great to like maintain, uh, but after a while, like uh, I personally need like two to three sessions. So I uh, might bump up the volume or the frequency soon, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun just with, in general with training lately, switching it up. Strategy today, oh, <laughs> not really strategy, but uh, work a heavy single for squats, and now I'm gonna put emphasis on uh, hip hinging, basically Romanian deadlifts. So what I'll do first set here with 315, I'll do like a set of like 10. That's a really good warm up set, and then work to like 365, 390 in that range, and do like sets, sets of 6 and 8. I'll do that just like get in some conditioning as well. All right, so here we go with the Romanian deadlifts here. First working set of the day. Uh, I decided to do light stuff, like I said, just working on that hip hinge pattern getting reps lots of lots of reps if you think you've done enough reps do some more that's that's what practice is all about you know we need to just get better at the movements and not have sloppy techniques and that's why i did my first set uh, high rep and then decided to gauge from there okay that feel pretty light so let's go a lot heavier this time let's not play around man let's get some gains sick of not having results i don't know about you man I want some fucking results. Let's fucking get it. When it comes to training, it, we need to be able to switch from first, second, third, and fourth gear. If you're always stuck in first or second gear, you're always gonna stay in a slump and uh, probably hitting a plateau. We need to be able to bump up our energy, especially when these sets are getting tiring. Like I was getting tired, so my technique is to big, take some big breaths through my stomach and my lungs at the same time. And then that gives me a lot of energy and a good rush to just get my set done. You know, that's my my strategy, personal strategy to like get my energy up. And we need to bump up the energy sometimes, man. You cannot stay in first or second gear. I'm telling you right now, if you want to bump up your uh, volume, bump up your intensity, just get some progression in your workouts. Eventually, you need to push yourself, okay? and not just do the exact same thing over and over and over again and stay comfortable. If you're staying comfortable, comfortable, you're probably doing something wrong in your workouts, man, okay? I'm telling you right now, even if you're casual or not, you should switch up the intensity here and there and not just play it mellow, have fun. Oh, wow, that was exhausting. <laughs> really good rush, you. Okay, so I'm gonna go change shoes and I bought a jump rope two weeks ago and pretty happy with my uh, progression so far. The hard part after this is not even the exercise itself. It's unloading the bar. That's the hard part of workout here. All right, putting on my, my shoes to do some jump roping. Hey, this is my favorite new kind of cardio, honestly. Uh, I beat my PR yesterday. I did 60 seconds straight and um, I'm gonna go for like a minute and a half to two minutes uh, in the next month or two, that's my goal. And eventually I would love three minutes. Oh man, imagine I can get like to three minutes within like five to six months of actually starting jump roping for the first time in my life. I did it like five, 10 times when I was like a kid in high school, you know? So it's fun, man. It's a new skill I'm learning. The coordination, the, the momentum, you gotta keep going. The, it, it's so fun. All right, so for this, I'll, I'll try to go my, my fastest, so let's see. So this is it. Uh, if you have any like a form advice or anything to make it a little bit easier and smoother, just let me know because I know I'm not very good at jump roping. Uh, I feel like I'm jumping a little bit too high, stuff like that. Uh, maybe doing too much shoulder rotations. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to uh, improve here and there. If you have anything, any feedback, uh, I'll gladly read the comments. And, and uh, thank you in advance, really, if you have anything to say, just write it down. 
um, and as well even for anything really if you think I'm doing a terrible technique on the Romanian deadlifts maybe just write it down what am I doing wrong what could I do better stuff like that you know but yeah a gr great session honestly it's fun to like just do that at the end of the workout uh, great cardio you I don't feel like a hamster doing that kind of cardio because you know why I feel like a hamster sometimes because I feel like a hamster because I get on that treadmill and I just walk on the same spot for so long and it gets really boring really fast but it's kind of necessary sometimes to do that especially for the longer cardio sessions where you want to sweat a lot for 30 to 60 minutes for example treadmills are amazing but let's be honest kind of boring so that's why I switch up my cardio now with the jump roping it really uh, engages um, my brain a lot more compared to being on a treadmill all the coordination everything like that it's just fun to do you know but that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching thank you for clicking i hope you're doing good if you did enjoy please leave a like always helps out look how lucky i am just passing by these guys this whole group here is always together they're always roaming the city together hello i love them they, they don't even care about humans that much like you can tell just passing by just strolling how you doing how you doing how you doing how you doing how about you guys? That's nice though, huh? Nice little stroll. <laughs> They're all like tailing each other.